This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. On the Breakfast Club. Ramos, so listen up. Ramos, Ramos, you know better. Whenever Drake is mentioned, you know what to hit. Come on. Well, Drake is his favorite artist. Well, this he is probably him. why maybe Dramos is upset about this. So a new video of Drake in the gym with his friends is uh, sparking a lot of interest in a lot of people. They believe that Drake is really not working out, that he really went and got maybe a BBL or he got some surgery. And that is the reason why he has those muscles and six pack. And I will be honest with y'all. That's just some low energy hate. Mm -hmm. Why would you even repeat that story? Where did you get this from, Envy? Where did this cite your sources? Dan gave it to me. Dan, cite your sources. What? Hip Hop DX. Hip Hop DX? Okay. Well, all right. <laughs> I don't even know. How do you even <laughs> prove something like this? Who cares? I don't even know. It just sounds stupid. God, if ladies, ladies out here getting uh, BBLs and doing stuff to their body, if that man want to do that, that's his prerogative. Drake's not getting no damn BBL. He's, the brother's working out, man. Light skinned guys can work out too, man. All right? Hey. Nah, you got titties. Shut up. <laughs> you definitely need some surgery. Shut up. Now, Fabio Foreign was arrested, <laughs> uh, you can't say that, was arrested what? with a loaded gun with missing serial numbers. Now, this is allegedly what happened. They believe that uh, he was walking into a city bank. He left his bins outside in a no parking zone. And they said uh, a cop came up to him and asked for his uh, license. They said that his car was parked in a no stopping zone. They said Fabio just simply ignored and just walked away. They said the officer began to follow him, and they said Fabio J walked across the street and ignored him. And they chased him down until the 25 caliber handgun fell out of his waistband. They said the serial number on the gun had been reportedly scrubbed off, and he was arrested. Fabio Foreign is lucky that he's alive this morning. And I don't even know why y'all play with police officers in that way. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't know why you would play with a police officer in that way in this climate. I really, I really truly don't. Well, you know, you know what, and and this is gonna sound so crazy. It, sometimes it feels like you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't, right? You, you walk, you run to the store, and you just want to go. Let's say you just want to go to the ATM. Yeah. But you know, you're in in New York and New Jersey, you're not legally allowed to carry the handguns. But mm. the criminals don't care about that. And you don't so have now, your security, and you're a rapper, and you he's know just running to the you. store. He just want to maybe just run to the store to go get some milk or something. He went to go get to the ATM, but now he has to protect himself because he is a rapper, right? And uh -huh. now he gets he gets pulled over for non stopping. Now he gets to jail and, and he probably gotta do two, three years in prison because of that, no, which is foul. Sadly, police don't know that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's sad because he I, I don't he didn't have an intention to hurt anybody. He probably was just protecting himself while he ran to the store and ran to the ATM. I don't I don't know. Mm. I just think it's I mean, I get it, but you know, when you're when you're a rapper and you're on that level and you're on that status, you know, you just can't run to the store, sadly. You got to take proper precautions at all times because you know mm -hmm. it's not legal for you to carry a firearm. Right. You know, so you're going to have to have somebody with you. Yeah. Or just live someplace where you feel more comfortable than run to the store without a pistol, I guess. Yeah. yeah. And lastly, Floyd Mayweather looks like that fight is going to happen, him and Logan Paul. It's going to happen June 6th in Miami. Are you guys excited for this? Do you want to see it? No. Nope. What are your thoughts? Mm -mm. Don't care. No? Nope. You don't want to see that? I want to see it. Yeah, because you love Floyd Mayweather. I do. But you want to hug him. You want to hug him shirtless. From the back. <laughs> Yo, what is wrong with y'all, man? <laughs> you really do love Floyd. You're one of them guys that have, like, an obsession with Floyd Mayweather. I don't have an obsession with Floyd. I think he's one of the, the greatest boxers of all time. So he I is. like to see him fight. So what's wrong with that? Same no, thing with I, Michael Jordan. I like to see Michael Jordan play regardless. I like to see no, LeBron play. Like, no, these you don't. People no, no, like, no, yes, no, 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 no. You like to see Michael Jordan and LeBron play real competition. You like to see Michael Jordan and LeBron play mm. real basketball players. I don't want to see Floyd Mayweather as great a boxer as he is in the ring with Logan Paul. What has Logan Paul done to deserve to be in the ring with Floyd Mayweather? It's real boxers that would kill for that opportunity. That's a real big payday that Logan Paul is going to get. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not excited to see Floyd Mayweather Floyd, versus Floyd Logan is Paul. retired. He proved himself now. Now, you know, these are these little young boys want to talk a little mouth. Okay, I'll pop you in your oh, lip for please. that. I don't have Did no it, problem with that. Didn't he lose to KSI, though? Who is KSI? That's, that's, KSI. Like one, of them that's one of the other YouTubers. Like when they first started boxing, Logan Paul fought him. I don't I watch that lost. stuff. I don't know nothing about this. Me neither. All right. I take your word for it, Dramos. You the one. You, you know that's your world. I don't know about no KSI. I thought that was a K-pop group. Why the K-pop guys fighting? No, he's a uh, YouTuber and rapper, I think. 
KSI. Oh, no. KSI fought Jake Paul. No. No, it was Logan Paul. I don't and know. Jake Paul okay, fought see, somebody else. That's why I don't be going Stadium to chase waterfalls. Jake Paul's the one that's been that knocked out Nate Robinson. That, that's why I don't chase waterfalls. I stick right, to nice. the um, you know, rivers and lakes that I'm used to. All right. Okay. Well, that is your rumor report. All right. Shout to Revolt. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Let me shout out to everybody. Yes, I'm heading out to Orlando today. I'm, you know, I'm doing my seminar. I really try to push PM, encourage people to own some type of property, whether it's an investment property, whether it's your own property, to own some type of land. You know, uh, money is cheap right now. Interest rates are low. And if you could get a good deal right now, now is the time to do it. So we're going to be in Orlando tomorrow talking about real estate, breaking it down. I think there's 20 seats left, so I can't wait to see you guys. All right. So let's get into the mix. Today's mix is all about Shock G, DMX, and Black Raw. All right? So let me know what you want to hear. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. 